everyone, this is part two of my planning and curriculum videos for next year, for the next school year, um, so 2017 to 2018, and I'm really excited about this one. Um, this is our science curriculum for next year, and it's Exploring Nature with Children, a complete year-long curriculum, and its creator is Lynn Seddon, so it's available online. Um, and it comes to you as a PDF file. Um, so personally, I downloaded it and um, printed it out, and then I popped into Ryman, the stationers, and had it spiral bound, um, which cost about, I think it was about two pounds, again, just like the um, planning file. So you could just use it from the computer, and I'm sure a lot of people would, um, but I just decided that I wanted to print it because I just like to have the materials in hand because I find it easier. And this looks amazing, and I think we will probably use it again, not just for the one year, um, as the children get older. So just to recap, I have Stanley who's six, and have Ronnie who's almost three. Um, so I feel like we can adapt this and use it um, you know, with both children, and they'll really enjoy it. So I'll go over to the table and give you a little overview of what's inside. So of course you have this really nice front cover. So here inside you have the table of contents and it's split into weekly lessons. So you have one a week lessons and it's split into months and it goes from September to September. So the next page is about getting started. So it says how you use this book um, and it also suggests having a nature journal and it also suggests the adult having a nature journal as well Which I really like the idea of because I've never done a nature journal before so I'm definitely going to do that next year And then you get a page about how to set up your nature journal um, And what to record and suggestions and bits like that. So it's really nice and clear It also has a page on keeping a family nature table um, So you can keep it pretty simple it says um, just display items and items of interest that you find along the way. So the next page, you actually have a breakdown of the seasons. Um, so you can actually, it's like a list of resources, so you can actually go and buy everything ahead of time. And then the next page, you get started on your lessons. So September week one, collecting seeds, and you get a little introduction, and then this week's nature activity. You also get a little safety note and what you can talk about, which I really, really like. So you also get a list of books to use for each week. Um, so you could borrow them from the library or buy them or even, you know, have other books. I think I might annotate this as I go along and add books that I find um, helpful as we go. So if we do do it another year, I'll have my own notes as well. Um, yeah, and you also get a lovely little poem each week. Um, and also a piece of art to enjoy, which I really, really love the idea of because it just incorporates everything into it. Um, and there's a couple of other pages that I bookmarked. I really like the look of this one. This is a um, autumn pond study for October week two, which I thought was awesome. And it just goes um, through all the different types of plants in a pond and the animals. Uh, the activity, the extension activity for this week is to make an underwater viewer, which I thought was really cool. So it's quite hands-on as well, as I say, very Charlotte Mason. If you don't know anything about Charlotte Mason, I'll leave a little um, link below, along with the link for this curriculum as well. Another one that I've got marked here is the one about the moon, which looks really cool. Um, and it's all about the moon and the different ways um, that the moon influences nature. Day one of the moon cycle, the new moon. Yeah, I just think it looks pretty amazing. And again, you've got your book list and bits like that. Mm -hmm. 